welcome to St. Gabriel's. I'm Colleen Lynch, I'm the head of school here, and you know, if you're looking for a new school community for your child, it is so helpful to get a chance to see the spaces that they will live and play and learn in. So we'd love to invite you in to see the many spaces that we have here from our lower school to our middle school, our indoor common spaces, and our outdoor spaces that we use um, in such joy here together. So come on in and join me as we uh, get started on this virtual tour. This is our front lobby. This is where you enter our school and meet with a warm greeting from our front desk staff. During school hours, this is the only entrance into our school, and so when you come in, uh, you know, if you were checking your child out for the day to go to the doctor or what have you, this is where you would come and make sure that they're signed out. So um, this is the hub of activity that um, starts our day and ends our day, and um, this is the place you would call to answer all of your questions during the day. Come with me as we enter our gym. This is a really special place. Our pre-K three all the way through our eighth graders join in here in sports and fun and games. Our lower school students through fourth grade have PE daily. We recognize how important that is to uh, have inside and outside play time every day. Our PE coaches are amazing and um, treat, you know, teach the children all sorts of wonderful games and you know, more than that and, and more than sports um, skills as well, just how to play together, how to be together, how to negotiate games and, and rules and all those kinds of things. So it's a wonderful space. Our middle schoolers, um, their PE time becomes part of their elective rotation, so it's still available to our middle school students. And of course, we um, celebrate many, many athletics events in here, our volleyball and our basketball, um, and usually with a W at the end of that. The other thing that is important in here is that every Thursday night, this space gets transformed into a magical worship space for Friday mornings. We have mass here together, and um, we have the altar set up and the seating for all of our students, and this is a wonderful way that we end our week each week in community with each other, celebrating what it means to be a Catholic community. Both our Catholic and non-Catholic families join us for Mass and all are welcome to join in community as we um, come together and worship together. Welcome to the Commons. This is a multi-purpose space and uh, there's so much that happens in here. It really is a center of our campus. Um, we have, as you can see, tables set up because this is where we break bread together. Our students have lunch here and our incredible kitchen staff gets here every day at 5 a.m. and makes lunch for every child from scratch. They take such good care of us and know all of us and know what we like and what we don't like and um, it's a really special place of love and care. We also use this space as a small gym. So we have athletic practices in here and um, after school programming in here and it's a really wonderful space to play. In addition, as you can see, we have a stage and we have so many performances in here. Our incredible middle school theater program um, does drama in the fall, a dramatic play, and our spring musical in, in May every year, and it's an incredible space for that. We also have performances. When we have outside um, guests come, they'll perform here for our children. Every Monday, we have an all-school gathering called Morning Assembly and Prayer, where all the children come together and we pray together, we celebrate all of the successes and events that our school has together. Uh, Wednesdays, our lower school students have their lower school prayer here as our children learn from a very early age to become comfortable with public speaking and um, worshiping together. And so this space is an important heart of our campus and um, we all enjoy spending a lot of happy and um, productive time in here. Coming out of the comments, this is our mascot. This is Spike, and actually Spike is a female. <laughs> and she is a really important part of our community. This incredible exhibit was donated to us by a family many years ago, and our children absolutely love to see Spike as they come into campus each day. Um, she's a pretty important part of us, and uh, we love to say our favorite team is the Sabres, and so um, when you're here, you'll say, go Sabres, a lot. Welcome to Founders Hall. This is where our pre-K three through fourth grade lower school is housed. And it's called Founders Hall because it was the very first building here on campus all the way back in 1999 when we were founded. 
Here we have our lower school administrative offices. We have our head of lower school, who is the division head for lower school, and our advancement offices uh, that help us to do all sorts of community building and fundraising. And then our nursing staff and the nurse's office, who are really expert in women's health and all sorts of daily health issues that come up for our children, from the very minor that need a Band-Aid or an ice pack to things that um, are more serious and um, needing more attention. Um, we also have our, here on the first floor, we have our pre-K three through our first grade. So our littles are on the lower floor and have a shorter way to walk. Um, on the second floor, we have our second through our fourth grade classrooms. And as well, our uh, learning lab, which I'll show you in a little bit, where children go if they need extra support or extra enrichment. Some of the important things to know about us as a school that are evident as you walk through our halls are the approach that we take to education. It's a very definitive approach to what we do. We are a Catholic school. Our Catholic identity is the basis of all we are, and uh, it is something that is so important to everything we do. That is the why for what we do. Social emotional learning stems from our Catholic identity, and it is the how. How do we deliver that Catholic identity through how we grow our children? And so that means that social emotional learning has five core competencies, and those are self-awareness, self-management, social awareness, relationship skills, and problem solving skills. We start working on those five core competencies from the minute they come to us as three-year-olds all the way to when they leave us as 14-year-olds. And those skills are achieved and taught developmentally throughout the years that they're with us. So we're also very focused on developmental ages and stages and what could be expected from each child during each of those years that they're with us. Social emotional learning is so important because what it does in conjunction with our faith-based education is it helps us to raise children who can communicate well and can collaborate well with each other, can listen to other opinions and form their own, can be good friends and make good friends, can handle conflict in a way that gets needs met and keeps relationships built. It means that our children are accountable for their own actions and learn how to live and work together in a way that is productive and will last them for a lifetime. Our world is only becoming smaller and so it's so important for all of us to be able to interact well with those who are like us and who are not like us. And so we spend a lot of time helping our children to really gain those skills in a meaningful way. This is our breakout space for our mainly our pre-k students you know in addition to learning the SEL skills that we work on it's also important that they're ready to incorporate the academic skills that they're starting to learn and sometimes to be ready to do that we need to work on our fine motor skills gross motor skills and core strength so that those academic skills uh, flow more naturally and so um, to be able to get ready for those, we work on also these precursor skills in this wonderful area. They can engage with the swing, with the trampoline, with the mat that's there, and, and various activities that um, allow the children to intentionally work with their teachers on these skills as well. So we're really fortunate to have this space for our kiddos as they get ready to take on extra academic and social emotional learning skills. This is also where we welcome our pre-K students in the morning and the uh, pre-K early childhood drop-off area and this is also where they get picked up in the afternoon. So our pre-K students have a very special wing all to themselves. Join me now as I take you out onto the pre-K playground, which is another special part of being a pre-K student here at St. Gabriel's. Welcome to the pre-K playground. This is the scene of so much laughter and joy throughout every single day. The children spend so much time out here enjoying being together and playing and laughing and learning. And so I welcome you to come see with your own eyes all the joy that is here every single day. Welcome to our learning lab. This, like I said earlier, is the space where our children come if they need um, extra support or extra enrichment. And our um, student services staff is here and ready to support our students at any time. In addition, our Director of Service Learning 
has an office here and service learning is a really important component of what we do here on campus and uh, an important component of our social emotional learning approach. Service learning is not service projects. Service learning means that we are raising students who really understand how to empathize with the world around them. So service learning begins with empathy. It means that our children learn about the communities around them and what are the actual needs of the communities around us and um, how can our strengths partner with our community to together in a symbiotic fashion make a difference, a positive difference. And so by beginning with empathy, our children learn how to ask good questions, how to really serve with accuracy in a way that is truly helpful. And it helps them to grow into really thoughtful global citizens as they not only continue through our hallways, but also beyond, that these children leave us ready to tackle whatever is coming their way. And that is so important to us. And um, we really love getting that chance to work with children in that way. This is Fuentes Hall. This part of Fuentes Hall is our, is our gallery. This is our newest building here on campus, and it houses our seventh and eighth graders mainly. And in, in addition to some really important common spaces that I'd love to share with you, because all of our children get a chance to um, experience those common spaces. This is our beautiful music room. Uh, and this is such a wonderful space filled with joyful noise all day long. It is a place where our theater students practice. It backs onto our stage, so this becomes backstage uh, during performances. This is a place where choir practices. This is a place where our band practices and um, gets ready for their performances. In addition, our pre-K-3 students all the way through our fourth grade have uh, music classes, general music classes, and so those happen in here. Um, our middle school students um, choose uh, their fine arts and performing arts classes through their elective programs, and so many, many different kinds of um, performing and fine arts happen in this amazing space. These are our learning stairs. This is a really innovative space for our students to be able to use in so many different ways. Um, our middle school, for example, has their weekly town hall meetings here where they gather and pray as a middle school and discuss topics that are specific to our fifth through eighth grade students. In addition, it's a place where children can come together in small groups where teachers can lead lessons in a different way. Um, so these uh, learning stairs see a lot of learning happening. Down here, I'm uh, looking forward to taking you into our Incarnate Word Chapel. This is uh, truly a magnificent space that is um, part of the heart and soul of our school. And so um, you're going to want to see this, so come join me. This is our Incarnate Word Chapel, and it is a beautiful space that was constructed when Fuentes Hall was being built. It is a place that we come to worship in smaller groups, um, and it is um, filled with incredible artwork that is really child-centered. Um, the saints that we have on the walls are um, really indicative of the universality of our faith. They are from all over the world and um, also are um, there because they are either children themselves or um, were important to our faith because of their work with children. Um, the space is uh, calming, it is um, sacred, and it is an important part of our days. Other common spaces that all our children share here in Fuentes Hall include the library, which is a place of so much joy and fun, and our research area that our librarian leads um, classes for all of our students in all sorts of classrooms about um, how to do research and the different steps in there. In addition, we have a large group instruction room that we call the LGI for large group instruction, and that is a space where uh, we can have speakers or teachers can do um, different types of learning that takes space um, in ways that other classrooms don't. Um, so this area is really a community space for all of our children. 
This is our D-Lab, and it is a really important part of how we deliver on the approach to education that we espouse so dearly here at St. Gabriel's. But as part of that social-emotional learning approach, we really value thinking critically and failing forward, not being afraid to try something and tinker and think and try again. And this space is created just for that. Our students from our very youngest three-year-olds to our eighth graders come in here in many different classes and with our director of STEAM to uh, iterate and ideate and scrap things and start over and work together to create projects that are meaningful that extend the learning from the classroom in a way that constructivist thinking does for our brains that other ways don't achieve in the same manner. And so this space is um, constantly filled with children. Um, this is a rare moment when we were able to find it um, open. And so uh, I invite you at any time to come and join the really amazing possibilities that are in this space. This is our Lego wall here in the D-Lab, and um, among other things, of course, it's a favorite of our young ones as they um, solve problems and figure out how to do things together collaboratively. That is another really important part of our approach here that is highlighted in the D-Lab, is um, our approach that uses project-based learning, or PBL. Project-based learning, just like service learning, begins with empathy. Given a problem, given a situation, given a thought or an idea, how can we create something um, together that might solve that problem? So again, beginning with empathy and understanding what is the issue at hand and how can we use what we've learned in class to address it. With our Director of Innovative Learning, our children and teachers are able to think deeply and critically and extend their learning in a way that Again, classroom learning starts and the D-Lab extends, so we are just so um, fortunate to be able to have this space and we use it constantly. Here at St. Gabriel's we have many amazing outdoor spaces. Being in the hill country as we are, um, it is, we are so lucky to be able to be outside quite a bit. This is one of those spaces. This is our rosary garden that is uh, dedicated to Our Lady of Fatima. And um, this space is in the center of campus and is a space where families will come and pray and uh, religion classes will come outside and learn about the rosary or the story of Fatima. In addition, in May we have a May crowning that we host out here as a little school and um, it is really a beautiful event that we host each spring. So this is a very special part of our campus and um, one of our lovely outdoor spaces. This is our amphitheater. This is a, another wonderful outdoor space that we use often. Our children will um, eat outside sometimes here or have a class here. Um, sometimes a class gathering or a performance occurs here. Our Boohoo Yahoo event that we have every year on the first day of school because some of our parents Boohoo and some of them Yahoo on the first day of school, but we all gather here uh, in community to celebrate the start of the year. So this is a really important space for all of us that we use as we need. Welcome to Knott's Hall. This is uh, our third building here on campus and it houses our fifth and sixth graders. Our fifth graders on the first floor and our sixth graders on the second. It also closes our uh, offices for the middle school. Our head of middle school is in here. Our accounting offices, our athletics, and our facilities offices are here. Our uh, teachers here in Knott's Hall are really amazing and very intentional help our fifth graders especially, fifth and sixth graders together, transition into middle school so that their experience is age appropriate, developmentally appropriate as they make that transition from elementary and intermediate elementary into our older middle school grades. It's a really fun experience that our children uh, enjoy very much. These are some of our classrooms here in Knott's Hall and you know it, I have to say our faculty here at St. Gabriel's is so incredibly talented and devoted to the work that they get to do with children each day. Part of that work includes differentiated learning, which is a really important piece of our social-emotional learning approach. 
what social emotional learning tells us is that each of us is an individual and we are all in our own journey as we go through the ages and stages of development. And therefore, when we're teaching and learning, we don't all learn at the same rate and the same pace. And so our teachers are incredibly uh, trained and devoted to meeting children where they are. And so what you'll see in the classroom is a wide range of differentiation so that children can learn and succeed at their pace and feel great success as they move through the years here with us. These are more of our wonderful outdoor spaces here at St. Gabriel's. We have our big playground where our big kiddos get to play for hours on end. We have our pavilion where many fun games of basketball are held. Our multi-purpose field is a fantastic space for all of the kickball and soccer and other fun games during recess occur, uh, as well as after school practices. We have our tennis courts uh, and basketball courts there that are utilized for PE and after school. And finally, of course, our crowning jewel is our football field and track where so many great events happen, both sports and just really wonderful gatherings. Um, so it is a, a, a wonderful um, gathering space for our families in many ways. We are so lucky to have this incredible 34-acre campus um, for our children to learn both inside in beautiful spaces and outside. These are some of our wonderful classrooms here in Fuentes Hall, including our um, amazing science and robotics lab. Our middle school robotics teams are really tremendous and um, ha they just do incredible work as they work each year to build robots that respond to the mission that has been given and then compete against, quite frankly, older kids most of the time. Um, they are just really an outstanding group of children year over year and we're so fortunate. And that brings me to something else that's very important as part of our approach to education here at St. Gabriel's and that is differentiated learning. We truly understand development um, that development doesn't necessarily happen in a straight line um, and in a, in a linear fashion, that development happens in fits and starts for our children. And so we build in very purposefully differentiated learning from the minute our kiddos come to us at three all the way through as they move through to graduation after eighth grade. Um, that children, um, it is important to meet children where they are in their own developmental ages and stages. And so our faculty are highly trained in responding to children where they are um, so that they can feel um, successful, that they can meet challenges with confidence, that they are able to uh, take in information about learning and use that to inform how they move forward. In our minds, that is incredibly important as we grow global citizens who will be raised to meet the path that is there for them um, and be able to respond in a way that is um, filled with confidence and joy and success. Thank you for coming on a virtual tour with me. I am so incredibly proud of my school and this beautiful space that we get to be in each day, but more I'm so proud of my amazing faculty, our devoted families, and most importantly, the children that we get to be with. They are um, the reason for everything that we do. This community of St. Gabriel's is a special one. It is one that is focused on being together um, in a way that is uh, focused on what's best for children. And so uh, I welcome you to come and see the spaces that we're in and learn more about how we uh, educate children and partner with families. Um, and just as our students say, I welcome you to come join us at any time.